we are going to create our pages our blog will have a a blog page which uh, just as an index uh, part and it will also have the single page single post page okay now let's create our model mm -hmm. now let's this will have a a blog page a blog page and it will have to email it from the page of wagtail we don't have this in, uh, imported so let's import it from wagtail that admin okay now it's not that core that models import page okay after importing our page then our page will have a description see this is the description this is the description and the, the description will inherit from models dot chart field the field uh, the max length max length will be let's make it 25 and the blank will be true okay so if you are creating something in wagtail you will enable it let's say we we, we we've already uh, added the description field so are we make it possible to be editable into uh, into wagtail admin okay that's why i will have to import field panel okay and um, how do we import it we import it like this from wagtail dot admin that edit handles eh? import field panel see now say content panels equals page that content panel then Put the price sign, you open the parentheses, and you say just build panels equal this one the description and don't forget to put it into quotes the two quotes that's it that's it guys we have already created the, the blog page now let's create the post page this is a class of post page you also inherit from page of wagtail and it will of course it will it will contain a header image as our post that has a header image and this will inherit from model at fallen key we are going to use the the wagtail image library that's why that is why we just use the foreign key now Tail images that image now on delete it will be models that set null 
and null will be true and blank will be true as well as we also have to have a related name the related name will be this plus sign okay we now have to make it available and be editable or deletable into the admin so that's why we need a content panel which is page that content panel with a plus sign when we want to make the image available we have to import something called image chooser panel okay from worktail that image that edit handles we import image chooser panel right that's why uh, and then we just type image chooser panel it will be this data image okay and don't forget to put this comma that's it guys we already have created two kinds of pages the blog page and the post page let's make the migration the migrations Let's migrate the database. That's it, guys. We all oh, we have already created two pages. Let's see it into the let's see it in our admin Now to sign in. Put your password inside. Then sign in. This is it. The home page is home. Okay. This home page we are saying it, it come from this one. It is this one. This is the home page. It, it was already been created while we were creating the blog application in the my side project. But if you go to loot, you can add either another child page. And the child page can be a home page or a blog page or a post page we want our welcoming page to be blog page so that's why we add a blog page let's say our title will be welcoming page welcoming page and the description will be a blog page okay let's make it a blog page you can see here into the promote page that we, we already have the slack all the way coming page this is it you have to publish it okay okay
Okay. Now to make it uh, directly available when we run our server, we need to go into settings. Okay. Then sites. Then edit this one. Let's, let's just edit it. And uh, let's choose different root page. Okay. We choose this welcoming page. Okay. Then we save. Now, if you go in, you stop your server. Let's stop it. Then we run it again. It will show you that the template doesn't exist. We'll fix it later, but I want to show you how to change your root page. Now, the blog page template doesn't exist. This is another part. We see it later, but first of all, make the blog page the root, the root, um, the root with the URL so that we will be redirected it when we start we run our server. That's it. That's it, class. Now, in the next part, we are going to create the category model and the tag model and link it to the first page. Thank you.